Hello everybody and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online and today is the first day of the 2017 Witches Festival. It is October 20th. This post that was presented on 16th explains in detail under news at the Elder Scrolls Online website what this uh, little uh, event does for you and how you can participate. So basically this is the Witches Festival and the big thing is going to be that we get to have a XP boost. So if you have some new characters or things that you're still trying to level, this would be an excellent opportunity to get that done. Uh, then, uh, so the big thing is boost your XP and also transform into the undead. So it will begin today, began at 10 a.m. and it will go all the way through until Wednesday. So let me highlight these. Wednesday, November 1st at 10 a.m. So we have about 12 days to enjoy this festival. You will enjoy a 100% XP buff. It might, I'm not going to say 100% sure, but it might stack with... Uh, crown store buffs or other XP buffs that you have. You can obtain a polymorph to become one of the walking dead and earn a host of unique witches festival themed items. So, um, uh, basically it explains that you need to go to the crown store holiday section to acquire the crow collar, which I will show you here in just a second. Okay, so if you're on a character that has never done this before, you go to the crown store and you purchase the crow collar like this. And this will show up now in your inventory. And you can use this. And then... Uh -oh. So then the uh, witch mother arrives out of nowhere and freaks her out. So then you're given a quest to go do some stuff and it's listed under your hol holiday events. So we have to... Um, collect a few things. The pumpkin and the guts will be easy, but I must also collect the essence of death from the strongest creature in any dangerous delve. So basically you're going to be farming uh, some bosses. So in, defeat a boss in any delve to find an essence of death. And then um, we go from there. So let's find out where we can go. Any delve, it says any delve. So that, that's the harborage. Do we have a delve? Well, there's Dell's Cavern. Can dash over there real quick and kill something. Uh, the thing is, with the Harvest Festival or the, with the Witches Festival, is that there's going to be a lot of people camping the bosses. So you're going to spend a lot of time waiting for a boss to appear. Just fair warning. This festival has some achievements. You'll need to continue to do all of this. Plunder, Skull, Fanatic, Reaper's Harvest, Happy Work for Hollowjack, and Pumpkin Pear as well with Guts. Then you will get a title called Sun's Dusk Reaper. Then as you do these things, you're going to get little box rewards. So in some of the boxes, you might get a hollow jack motif for learning for your crafting or for selling. Also, uh, there's some achievements for getting plunder skulls. Uh, this is the pumpkin pear as well with guts drink the witch mother's brew during the witches festival and Reaper's harvest is complete the witch mother's bargain quest For the veiled queen. Oh, there she is 
Get him! Get him! All right, so... Once you fight the boss... And I just got done fighting him, so that was his second appearance, and, um... And once you've done that, for the first time on this quest, you will have a little object in your quest inventory called Essence of Death. It looks like an ear or something. And uh, so once we will have to, we have to return to the Witch Mother and give it to her. Now, a couple of tips about these bosses. Uh, the other thing that you're collecting are blunder skulls uh which i don't see in my inventory don't there there is a plunder skull these are some items that you're going to be getting off of these delve bosses and you'll need to collect quite a few of them to get some of your achievements and oh he's gonna get me first Now, one bit of advice, though, that I wanted to mention about these bosses is that um, there's sort of a timer between when you're going to be able to get the Plunder Skulls. And even though this guy showed up at least twice during the filming of this video, he doesn't have any Plunder Skulls. That's because it's been less than that time since I killed him the first time when he dropped the plunder skull. So, um, before I killed him for the first time, I was waiting here for a good five minutes. So, basically, a new person who has never killed the boss enters the room and triggers the boss immediately. That's the boss you don't want. I don't know how to explain this. The boss you want is the one that you have to wait about you know, three to five minutes for. I want to say about maybe three to five minutes that you'll... There he is again. Did somebody new just show up? Yep. I got a plunder skull there. So I did wait the appropriate amount of time to get a plunder skull. So that's why people are going to sit here and camp these bosses over and over again because it takes i guess about five minutes to reset when you're going to get the plunder skull so once you do that every once you have what you came for everybody's going to be gone so um one of the tips that i that i got into last year was to locate a very out of the way and unpopular delve in order to wait out the boss and just sit there and kill him over and over again. There is an add-on. Okay, so this is the add-on that you want to get. This is called the Plunder Skull Timer for the 2017 Witches Festival. And basically, uh, it's a very simple add-on. It displays the amount of time that has elapsed since the last time you looted a Plunder Skull. They have an internal drop cooldown, so it's useful to see how long it has been since your last loot. So anyway, just install this and activate it, and then next time you kill a boss, this little uh, this little thing will pop up on your screen, just like that. And this number will count down, and once that counts down, then the next time the boss appears, go ahead and kill him, you should get some more loot. Okay, so once you've gotten that death instance, it's going to ask you to locate her in Glenumbra. That's what it says in the, uh... That's what it says in the quest, is to find her in Glenumbra. And so, you can always go to your ev holiday event and your quest, show on map, figure this one out. So, Glenumbra... This character has not been there up to here. So this is, um, down here is going to be Daggerfall. 
and you'll need to travel all the way up north to the very top of Dagger Fall and get off at the Crosswitch Way Shrine. And she is up here, up against the cliffs here. So I will be right back. And uh, right up here, I actually went around behind here from this Way Shrine. It was a little fun run. So uh, we are going to go into Olive's Brewery. The Reaper returns with the harvest. I brought you what you wanted. Yes. The scent of death preceded you. These will do nicely. Don't forget our bargain. Completed. Now, Reaper, behold the true bounty of your harvest. So she's gonna make a brew for you. Drink deeply. <laughs> and you know, every horror story. <laughs> Every horror story says, don't drink it. Okay, so take that. Let's go. I'm not certain. Fit for kings and tyrants alike. Hmm. Look at that disgusting brew. It looks like puke. You came this far, did you not? Drink from the cauldron. Feel the witch mother's brew course through you. Do not delay. Okay, so I have completed the Witch Mother's Bargain, and, uh, that is a, uh, an achievement right there. Now, I should have a memento, which I probably earned from last year, so I'm going to go ahead and locate it. Memento. Uh, under Witch Mother's Brew, probably. Witch Mother's Whistle. So you get the Witch Mother's Whistle, and when you use it, you will have a... There you go. So it, it summons a little cauldron, and you use it. Oh! Ah! Oh dear. What, what has happened? You know, my mama always told me, don't drink stuff that strangers give you. And why would anybody understand that the witch mother is going to trick you and you do it anyway? But now, in my character screen, I can see that I have a witch mother's boon and that's 100% boost to all experience points. So this is a permanent a permanent um, memento that only gives XP during the Witch Mother's Festival. At other times, you could probably uh, bring it out, but it won't do anything for you. So uh, that's what you get for doing the beginning quest. And from there on, you will be collecting these plunder skulls. So let's look at some of the other things that are happening with this witch's festival. Let's look at the house, of course. The limited house. We have 11 days for the house, so let's go ahead and look at that. We've got the house. We have a new uh, mount. And we have uh, some... Colors, uh, which we can't, it's kind of look, doesn't look any different on this character, on this costume. Um, anyway, new house, a new mount, and, uh, some dyes. Um, and that's about it, I think. So let's go have a look at the house. This is the exorcised coven cottage. Let's go for a visit. So it's located outside of Hagfin, and the closest way shrine is the Hagfin way shrine. All very appropriate. So uh, this is it in the unfurnished version. Very simple house. 
some spooky water down here like some fog I don't know if you can get in and out that door turn on my UI and see now nope, it goes out to nowhere so there's only one way in so you got a little house like that and uh, it's just a circle it, nothing fancy woven uh, a woven roof and that sort of thing so uh, let's look at the purchase options so right now if you want to buy it unfurnished for in-game gold it's 250,000 in-game gold and it requires an unsparing harvest achievement and uh, that is part of the witch mother's festival the witch's festival basically you have to do all this so you do all of these and then you qualify to buy the house for gold okay for crowns it's only 3,500 crowns unfurnished and furnished it's 4,400 crowns so let's preview the furnished so we got some lights um Yep, not much has changed since I previewed this on the PTS. Still have the spooky things out here. Um, and then inside we have the hanging bones, tables, chairs. Just some very basic, very, very, very basic little hut items. Some wash. Lots of hands. There's something going on with the hands here. Uh and fireplace out here so so just some extra lighting there might be some extra bushes i don't know but it looks like um it could be a really fun place to try to decorate uh anyway so that's it that is the new house or crowns and it is available for 11 more days the exercised co coven cottage. Okay, so uh, the other rewards that you get during the course of this. Uh, so that was that was the. Um, it said here there was a little note here that says you do not have to use the witch mother's cauldron in order to gain the XP buff. It is a polymorph. If you don't want to do that, uh, it's not permanent, so don't worry. You gain uh, Witches Festival themed loot by helping to keep Tamriel's numerous monsters at bay during the event. All boss monsters, world bosses, and delves, group dungeons, public dungeons, trials, arenas, and dark anchors will drop plunder skulls do not need the XP buff or the undead polymorph active in order for them to drop. Plunder skulls are special containers that have a chance to contain the following rare items. The hollow jack motif, rune boxes containing pumpkin specter mask, scarecrow specter mask, hollow jack specter mask, and thicket man specter mask. Which is festival themed recipes, furniture and furniture recipes, motif style items, and an assortment of creepy items such as worms, crawlers, guts, and other goodies. So that's what you want those plunder skulls for. So there's no more quests really involved in this. There's the achievements to earn, but uh, for now you would just go out and Go kill all those bosses and earn those plunder skulls. I didn't open mine so they would be found under the consumables. And I have two. So you just right, right click them and see there's a little use button. So I would right click them and see what's inside. So I got some worms. I got some amber marble which is used to craft a holojack style. I do have now a crafting motif. Hollow jack staves to 
tank. I could probably sell them because my one character already knows them all. I have another plunder skull to open. I got the recipe for Witch Mother's Party Punch. This is a Magicka Recovery and Stamina Recovery potion. It is based on your level, so it, uh, it scales to your level. Uh, it has a 6 second cooldown. And it requires just recipe improvement 1 and quality 3. So it, it, re it does require the, the Berber's juice, which is a uh, kind of one of the rarer ingredients, rye, lotus, and lemon, to create. And it's a really nice buff. The other, the other uh, recipe that you can get from this festival is the, uh, another witch mother's, it's a witch mother's foods, really. So that one is one of the one that the Magicka based characters have been cherishing all year long. So it is worth it to go ahead and do all of this, get the, get the plunder and especially get those recipes. I think, uh, out of all of the things that you can get for this, the recipes, come first for me uh, followed by the crafting motifs and then finally the the masks i already have one of the masks so i can uh, so i can be looking for the other one so just so you know i had my helmet hiding and this is the actual polymorph with the with the cowl on it so you know Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy. I don't I don't know if this was a good enough guide for you, but it's just a little kind of preview and it's probably going to be you know, there's a few things involved, but it's not very complicated. This this festival is not very complicated. It doesn't have too many achievements that are going to drive you nuts to accomplish. And the plunder skulls, they are fun to get. You can get them in a lot of different places so uh, the the main pain was really just trying to finish that main quest when everybody's camping on the boss so uh but right now now it's good i can go go to any sort of boss and pick up these plunder skulls so that's it for my 2017 witches festival guide hints and tips so have a good day. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.